Hey guys, I just want to do a quick tutorial. Um, I was messing around with some uh, old brakes. Not, uh, let's see. I'm not exactly sure what the name of the song is. It's a it's a pack from. Uh, let's see. The sample.net. They have a bunch of free break uh, sample packs of breaks. They're all awesome. They're pretty awesome. Um, by no means royalty free. They're all cut uh, from old songs, but they're awesome to play with at least. Uh, but what what I want to do this tutorial about is uh, when I was playing with them. Uh, I found one that I really liked and it had some really nice sounds I'll, we'll take a listen I cut it up and chopped it and made it into uh, this uh, pretty simple beat and that's about it it just loops over and over I sampled in a kick and then I found myself a snare uh, both from a kid urban sample kit uh, check those out. Um, I believe it was free uh, off of freedrumkits.net, which is an awesome website. I have tons of shit from there. Uh, but what I wanted to do, if you take a listen to to this drum beat, the the break that I sampled, um, it has a lot of room, roomy sounds, noise, and it's kind of boomy. Uh, just take a listen and listen, listen to in between the hits. There's a lot of noise. Um, and my first instinct was to grab for a gate and kind of reduce those. But that, I don't know. It just wasn't really cutting it for me. So I decided to grab the multiband dynamic plugin. And use this instead. Um, mostly, most of the time, people use this for compression um, and stuff. But what we're going to use it for is it's technically called downward expansion, and that's basically when something falls below a threshold, it grabs it and shoves it down even further. So, with uh, compression ratios, when you're doing compression. When something goes over, say say you have a two to one ratio, when something goes over uh, ten decibels, I mean ten decibels over the threshold, it lets only five. It cuts it in half. Um, so every two that go, every two decibels over, it only lets one through, and it's about the exact opposite for downward expansion. So every decibel it falls below the threshold it lowers it by two I mean, it's kind of confused but basically basically just think of upside down compression um, visually this will make more sense when I get to do it and when you hear it um, but let's take a listen again and I'm gonna point out what exactly I want to get rid of up in the high end um, I like the I like the hat but there seems to be this kind of, I don't, just noise. Um, and then down in the bottom end, there's a lot of boominess. And then in that mid range, where it has that decay of that of of the snare, I like. So I'm gonna keep that. And that's the cool thing about using this instead of a gate is that you could have three frequency ranges that you can mess with your lows, mids, and highs. So let's start to mess with this and clean it up a bit. I'm going to bring this right right before the peak of the transient in in the lows. And then click and drag down. See how that cleans that up a lot? All right, now let's do it to the high end.
just cleaned it right up. Now, let's let's try something in the mid range. I don't really think I need to get rid of anything, but let's just try. All right, it sounds nice and clean. Uh, there isn't much noise anymore. And now let's take a listen to the before and after. This is before. And this is after. Now let's listen to it with the other elements. That's with, without. Nice. Uh, uh, night and day. Uh, it just sounds a lot better, to me at least, and I think it's going to be a lot easier to mix too. I don't know if I'm going to really do anything with this. I'm kind of just playing around, but I figured I might as well do a tutorial. Um, obviously, like, subscribe. I plan on making a lot more of these. I'm making some uh, uh, series on compression, and I also have uh, a couple other ones. Um, including a, a tutorial on multi-band sidechain compression, um, layering samples into drums and uh, sample replacement in live drums, uh, the compression tutorials, and then also uh, a little thing I like to call parallel distortion, and we're going to play with that uh, too. So those are some things to look forward to. So uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, hope to see you there.